Good morning, I'm Kimberly. Thank you for joining our morning prayers today on Friday the 11th of June. Today we'll be looking at Psalm 100 and today's scripture reading is from Revelations 4. So let's begin. O Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Let your glorious light shine upon us today. And now it's time for our prayer of thanksgiving. O come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us heartily rejoice in the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving and be glad in with his psalms. For the Lord is great. He is our great God and a great king above all gods. In his hand are the depths of the earth and the heights of the mountains are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have moulded the dry land. Come, let us worship and bow down and kneel before the Lord our maker, for he is our God. We are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Glory to the Father, to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now and shall forever be. Amen. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and one mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you now and forever. Amen. Now today's chosen psalm is Psalm 100. O be joyful in the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness and come before his presence with a song. Know that the Lord is God. It is he that has made us and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and bless his name. For the Lord is gracious. His steadfast love is everlasting and his faithfulness endures from generation to generation. A lovely psalm that's saying, the Lord is gracious. His steadfast love, steadfast love is everlasting for each and every one of us. O Christ, door of the sheepfold, May we enter your gates with praise and go from your courts to serve you in the poor. The lost and the wandering, this day and all our days. Glory to the Father, to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Now today's scripture reading I've chosen is from Revelations 4 verses 1 to 4. Then as I looked... I saw a door standing open in heaven and the voice I heard before spoke to me like a trumpet blast. The voice said, come here and I will show you what must happen after this. And instantly I was in the spirit and I saw the throne in heaven and someone sitting on it. The one sitting on the throne was as brilliant as gemstones, like jasper, and the glow of an emerald circled his throne like a rainbow. Twenty-four thrones surrounded him, and twenty-four elders sat on them. They were all clothed in white and had gold crowns on their heads. Now, this piece of scripture depicts the Apostle John's experience of being in the Spirit and being transported to heaven. There he sees the radiance of God described as precious jewels. Further, he sees 24 other thrones occupied by 24 elders. I wonder how he felt in that moment. As he saw the door to heaven opening and a voice beckoning him to come in. Now, rainbows have always played a very special part in, in my heart. So I love the reference of the rainbow in this piece of scripture. The glow of an emerald circled its throne like a rainbow. Just beautiful. And so we move on to the Gospel Canticle, and I'm going to say the Benedictus. You did not choose me, but I chose you, and I appointed you to go out and bear fruit, fruit that shall last. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us our mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of all to save us from our enemies from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy of our ancestors 
and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our lives. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. And now it's time for our prayers of intercession. So let us pray. Gracious God, as we move into the final part of the academic year, we pray for our schools, that they may light a fire in our children's hearts that never goes out. We pray for the teachers who have been stretched so much this year. May they continue to inspire our young people and wherever possible, give them the faith in Jesus to be their rock in times of need, keeping the well-being of the children themselves in the forefront of all they do. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Creative and loving God, we thank you for the way music moves and inspires us, not least in our worship. Thank you for those who lead our music in church, for their dedication and imagination, their musical gifts and desire to serve. We pray for our organ appeal, so we can raise enough funds to secure the work that needs to be done. Our organ is such an important part of our service, particularly in these COVID times when singing is not permitted. So through this appeal, we pray that the music take our worship higher and deeper, so we, that we meet you in the heart and mind and are released to be fulfilled with joy. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father God, we give thanks for the life-giving blaze of the sun pouring over us this week, bringing warmth, growth and well-being. We thank you for allowing us to meet up with our loved ones as the lockdown restrictions ease and for creating wonderful memories with our families and friends in your glorious sunshine. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we pray for the souls of all who have died. Gather into your loving arms all those who are grieving or heartbroken. Comfort them with the knowledge that their loved ones are now at peace with you. May you grant us, with them, a place in your heavenly kingdom. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Loving God, as we are well into the month of June, it takes us into the golden months that we have been waiting for, with hopes of high summer, cold drinks and warm evenings. It means summer sport can begin and children can play joyfully in the park. We thank you for the delight we have in stretching our bodies and testing our limits. May our children and young people experience that same exhilaration in your thrilling gift of life. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. And now the collet of the day is said. Bountiful God, giver of all gifts, who poured your spirit upon your servant and gave him grace to encourage others. Help us by his example to be generous in our judgments and unselfish in our service through Jesus Christ, your son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And the Lord's Prayer we say together, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us all in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Now our morning prayers are coming to an end for today, but go in peace and let God's light shine on each and every one of you. I look forward to joining you on morning prayer again next week. Take care.